What is up guys, Sean Cookie here, and for you guys today, I'm bringing us episode 8 of KM Strike with Every Gun. And today's gun I'm using is the ARX 160 with silencer and grip. Uh, the full class, like, you know, uh, perks and all that stuff, the whole class setup is actually on my other video, um, episode 7 with the Honey Badger. So if you want to know the actual class, you can go to that um, video. But the main thing I want to talk about is that this gun, I'm using grip and focus now those are two mandatory perks if you're going to use this gun as an assault rifle i was going to say this is wor this is one of the worst assault rifles in the game after realizing that it's more of like a submachine gun it it's definitely a hybrid um and the reason for that is uh, the red laser now i'm guessing they wanted to add like more of a hip fire accuracy assault rifle in this game which kind of makes no sense but with the red laser it actually um boosts it um boost the gun's accuracy um and then they also you know to make it balanced they made the hip firing on it like the worst out of all the assault rifles so i have to say you gotta use grip for the high recoil um and you know that changes it to moderate makes it a little bit better a little bit easier to use and then also i have to say is use focus because the kick view which means like when you know you get shot at and you're shooting at somebody um the first time i was using this weapon when I thought it was actually bad, um, I wasn't using focus, and the gun was actually going so high that I couldn't actually see the enemy anymore, and I was shooting up in the air. That's how, like, high the, the recoil, you know, kick view uh, was. Um, so what I have to suggest about this weapon is that try using um, it as, a uh, like, a submachine gun, like, you know, running gun. Use it with grip, and use it with steady aim. And I'm probably going to try to get another gameplay with this, you know, later on when I just do, like, normal commentaries after this whole... Uh, KEM series I'm doing and you know eventually I'm going to just upload like regular commentaries and stuff maybe in between um, I don't know what I'm deciding yet but that's going to happen um, but yeah I suggest using, using steady aim this is more of a submachine gun hybrid gun and um, that's pretty much it I really have nothing else to say about this gun it's not a really good assault rifle so don't use it as an assault rifle use it as a submachine gun you know picks uh, perks that are for submachine gun and uh, maybe try that out, and it will maybe help you. And maybe you'll do good with it. I don't know. Personally, for me, I'm not. I don't. I didn't really do good with this weapon. I'm probably not gonna use it again. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it with the gun. So let's get on to the real life weapon. Now, the AR ARX is also known by as the Beretta ARX 160, and it's an Italian assault rifle. Um, it was made by Pietro Beretta. SPA, and I don't know how I just pronounced that, um, but pretty much it, it was developed for the Italian Armed Forces um, as a part of their a future soldier program in that country, and um, pretty much it's used by uh, a bunch of countries. It's been used in the Afghanistan war. It was designed in 2008, and the manufacturer is Beretta. Um, the countries that use this weapon are Albania, Special Forces, Egypt, At uh, Italy, Kaza, Gansta, something, whatever country, I don't even know these, um, also Mexico, and then the United States were also thinking about it actually replacing the M4, and, um, that's pretty much all the information, there's not too much information, you know, some of these guns, they don't have that much information, cause, you know, it's, I guess it's top secret, uh, but there's the KEM, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, commentary and whatnot, uh, and if you could and you're enjoying the series, please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, guys.